you intend driving this pass, it's important to watch the South to North ascending video which contains the Google Earth orientation clips and other important information. This will give you a complete perspective on this major gravel pass and all it has to offer. The northern end of this pass starts at the turnoff to the Niverus farm. This northern ascent has a far easier gradient than the southern side. The average gradient along this ascent is 1 in 13, but there are some fairly steep sections, especially near the summit, at 1 in 7. The solitary building that appears on the right-hand side of the road is the Vogelfontein water bottling plant. The Cedarberg Mountains generate some of the finest and purest quality water in South Africa. The Cedarberg is hugely popular with nature lovers and attracts hikers, rock climbers, botanists, campers, whitewater rafters, off-road cyclists, 4x4 enthusiasts and astronomers. During late winter and spring, these mountains are smothered in yellow and purple flowers as the wildflower season gets into full swing. As you arrive at the summit, there is plenty of place to park alongside a cattle grid. This is an excellent place to stop and take in the grandeur of the mountain scenery and the road that you have travelled and the road still lying far ahead. You can leave your car here and take a walk up the jeep track which heads up to the right to a mountain called Hondverbrand. This translates into burnt dog and how the mountain got its name is anyone's guess. From the summit looking south one can see almost the entire descent of the pass as well as the first half of the Blankberg Pass with the Mount Cedar Farm nestled in the center of a mind-blowing panorama. The first third of the descent is very steep with a gradient as steep as 1 in 5. We recommend that you select second gear and run against compression to save on your brakes. During and after rains when these roads become muddy they can be treacherous. Adjust your speed according to the conditions. The San and Khoi people inhabited the Cedarberg area from early times. European settlers began stock farming here early in the 18th century and in 1876 a forester was appointed to oversee crown land in the mountains. This was possibly the first attempt at conservation in the Cedarberg. A conservancy of which Hrytrofir forms the southern border was established in 1997. Mount Cedar offers visitors the opportunity to enjoy the felt, river and scenery around the working olive farm on the premises. At the southern end of the pass, visitors to the beautiful Mount Cedar guest farm are hard pressed to choose from what's on offer. There's olive tasting, horse riding, canoeing, swimming, mountain biking, hiking, birding, fossil hunting, stargazing or just being transported back in time by some of the ancient rock art. The four-star Mount Cedar guest farm offers a wide range of self-catering accommodation in cottages and lodges as well as beautiful camping alongside the river.